at the runway shows, there are some items that are so hot, they get sold out right away. So since you can't find them, we're going to make them right now. Janice Meredith is here with some... <laughs> We've talked about on the show before, we're all talking about the bomber, but particularly the embellished bomber or the embellished jean jacket. We've got a bomber. You see Gigi Hadid wearing it here in this shot. That's a great bomber. But let's kick it up a notch and add some of our own embellishments. Yes, well, Tommy Hilfiger made all of the supermodels their own custom ones. And they all have wow. their names in the back. Okay. I know. I didn't get mine. I want one. But so here I am doing it myself. Um, and actually, so this is actually going to be for my daughter. So oh, I nice. did invest in a nice uh, bomber that she would actually wear. Let's show them the um, bomber. Yeah. This is a good one. From H&M. It was yep. $59. And then you can easily get these great little, like everywhere now has these great funky. These are iron ons but because I really want it to stay, I'm doing it with glue. Okay. Like a hot glue guy. I love that. So I've done, these are um, I think $6.50 at Ardeen, are done, mm -hmm. and you can get lots of other things. Any of your textile stores, and every major city has a textile store, you can get feathers, yep. you can get like sequins, you can get like sheets of sequins and like cover your shoulder with one, like wow. tons of fun ideas out there. So I actually consulted with my daughter because she's going to wear this, I'm like, what do you want on it? Uh -huh. And how I wanted to do it is not exactly how she wanted to do it. Uh -huh. So of course not. Uh, yes, um, how it was old very is funny. Now? 13 and a half. She's got opinions, Jess. Yeah, slash 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's easy to do. Chalk is your best friend. Plan it out, mm. do some chalking, put it on to make sure that, you know, it's not too far over and your shoulder is going to crease right there. Right. So do some planning. The best tip about doing hacks is that it's not supposed to be cheapened, it's just supposed to be customized. That's right. So we're not trying to make it, you know, like hack. We're actually just trying to get that look specifically for you. Okay. So take time to really plan it, use great product. Mm -hmm. And then you can get a really lovely look. Um, so yeah, she wanted the yes on her arm, so we just hot glued that on. And then what yes. I did when I was doing it is I put. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I put something up in the sleeve to to hold it and wrap it around when it was drying. Oh, I see. That's yes. smart. These are all the things you have to think exactly. of. Exactly. And on the back, what does on it say? On the supermodel part. Yes. Uh, I'm just. You can get this string of sequins uh -huh. on thread was twelve dollars. I remember this from when I was a baton twirler. It was on oh. like <laughs> every single one. Of my costumes. Yes. <laughs> well, now you can get it on the back of your jacket. <laughs> so I'm putting a K down there. And you know, even sewing machines nowadays, you can just get the embroidered and do your own name and then glue that on. Okay. So what we've done is, I'm going to turn this around, is I have, um, I've already done my K chalk outline. And then I'm going to glue onto the shirt so that, or the, the rest jacket. of her K. Yeah, and then plan it you down. You have to do it right because this is actually oh, for I know. her. Okay. I know. I know. Well, you'll hear about it. I'll hear about it. <laughs> We're going to hear about it. If and it's I have not like right. the hottest glue gun ever. Good. Does that make a big difference? Yes. Okay. So Only you want on the clothes, not on your fingers, though. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay, so you got your glue down. Yes. And I'm going to let you do yes, the final little you. trim there. And we want a little bit of personality with it. And you yeah. do have a little bit of play. Very nice. There you go. And you have to go back and touch up over those. And what I will say is when you're cutting any of the ends, yeah. then glue back the other end of it just so that it, it, doesn't, run. it doesn't run and it doesn't thread. Okay. I'm okay. going to try and show you a shot without messing it up. Because then Keely will be angry at you. Keely will be mad at me. <laughs> I don't want her mad at me. So that's how it's going to look, minus this. Okay? Yeah. these and I never liked them when people were just wearing them like this no. and now they've gone to the next level where it's an athletic slide but there's like some furry action happening because yes. everyone's doing a furry slipper now. Yeah it started off last year that this was the fur the Burks where this was right. the fur and then Rihanna now has done this is the fur with yes. her Puma a lot of people are wearing that. Yes, no, no. And for me, it's all about whatever is easiest to like. Sometimes <laughs> you just need to, like, my kids are going to school at seven. Yes. I'm putting on sweatpants, and, you know, I'm going to wear these out. You'll see me in these. You're going to be fancy. Yes. Look at, which, look at what's going to be on her foot. Yes. Yes. I am actually going to wear this. I you think this is great. So I invested, because I wanted to do this, I invested in a really comfy shoe that I would wear. Yeah. Again, not cheapening out. So these were, although they're $35 from uh, Sport Jack. Yeah. And then what you do is the boas were seven ninety nine. Good. And so tons of fun. And even look at this one. Like you could do this oh, one, layers of that too. one. There's so many options. Yeah. And you can do layer after layer after yes. layer and make them really nice and fresh. And it is hot in here with these. Yeah. Okay. 
So what you're gonna do is just pay attention to, there is a rope thread on this, and that's kind of your spine, mm -hmm. and you wanna make sure that you actually dig in deep to find that, and you're gluing the spine yes. to the piece and not just feathers. Right. And so it does take time, it does take some extra hands. Um, so what we're gonna do is always apply the glue first onto the shoe, and in one thin row, find the spine beforehand, lay it down, yes. and then hold it and press. Got it. And then I'm gonna hold back the feathers, Yes. do the next row, find the spine, and then weave it back in an S all the way up. Up, yes. And just keeping the feathers out of the way. And so this, the one thing you don't want is to be gluing down these feathers because you want it to look like a crazy <gasps> furry mop. Yes. A duster. I do. A duster. I know. Right? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to post a picture of me wearing these. Do it. She no. said she's going to take out her garbage wearing these. Yes. And I like that. I already I like, think you're going to be my neighbors. chic in your neighborhood. <laughs> yes. My neighbors are always like, really? Let's move on really? to this one now because I want to okay. make sure we get it in. And yes. it's the Mew Mew shoe. So take a look at these shoes. Like yes. they are, they've got different ribbons. The ribbons don't match the shoes. They've, some of them have buckles, and you said people are actually even doing like uh, sneaker laces, attaching them to flats and, and tying up the laces yeah, up their legs. Yeah, everything, this whole ballerina inspired look is taking over everywhere. So your sneakers, change out the laces, make them longer laces, yes. and then rope that up your ankle. Your sneaker lace cool. with your sneakers. Yeah. And you're wearing them with a dress, you're wearing wow. them where you can, like the wide leg pants, you can see up at a little bit That's of cool. like, yeah. So these so we're gonna make our shoes. Own. Yes. So I started off because we're gluing and spraying and sparkling. You actually new pairs aren't gonna work. You need to have an older pair that are worked in so that the movement's already established. Because okay. if it's stiff and then you're moving your foot, you're gonna break off anything that you've done. Right. Makes sense. So this is yeah. an old shoe. This is what it originally looked like. Mm -hmm. And then I spray painted it gold because I'm going to and I tape off everything. Okay. Um, spray painted it with this paint. And let it dry overnight and just so it had a good base right. for when the sparkles go on. I tried a different a few ways of doing the glue. Yep. I tried the glue gun. The problem with the glue gun, it's too thick. Right. So this stuff actually worked fantastically and you, you need a nice, solid, consistent layer all over the top of your shoe. Yep. And then we get into the sparkle and that's why I have this down. Look at how good this looks. Yeah. And, and this is the dollar store. let that dry and yeah. then I put a clear coat over top of it so oh, it shouldn't sparkle off. Okay, yes. so you don't get this all no. through your house. Yes. And then I got, there's tons of different ribbons and I liked this one because it's a little bit of a sparkle metallic through it. Yes. I had three meters was enough for me. So you're cutting it in half and then you're just going to glue it halfway down in the center into the back of the shoe. Like back yeah. here. That's ah. exactly what we're going to do. And then and you're giving it time to dry, to obviously. Dry. Don't do this and then put them on and go to the ballet. No, because they won't come off. Let's give yes. it a second. Yes. Or give you will it be the time. dancer. <laughs> and then what is I was most excited about is, remember those belts that I'm always telling you to take off your pieces? Yes. I cut that up and that's where we're going to make our belt. Look at that. So you've got a little, uh, you've got a little strap on yes, it. Yes, and I'm going to cut the other one off and glue that on the bottom. And then there you have it. You have it buckled and you're going to tie this up your leg yes. and it's so much fun. I actually totally love this look. Listen, I love that you are consuming all of this because this is what so many of our viewers want to know about. So thank you so much for the no DIY. I love this. So much fun. So good. Let's go to break. We got more coming up.